Let's see what's going on now with local champion cheerleading coach Sue Sylvester in a brand new segment we call Sue's Corner. Take it away, Sue. Thanks, Rod. Andrea. You know, caning has fallen out of fashion in the United States. But ask anyone who safely walked the immaculate sidewalks of Singapore after winning an international cheerleading competition, and they'll tell you one thing. Caning works. And I think it's about time we did a little more of it right here. And to all those naysayers out there who say that's illegal, you can't strike children on their bare buttocks with razor-sharp bamboo sticks. Well, to them I say, yes, we cane. And that's how Sue sees it. Sometimes people ask me, Sue, how come you're so sensitive to minorities? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I know firsthand how hard it is to struggle as a minority in America today. I'm 116th Comanche Indian. In fact, I like minorities so much, I'm thinking of moving to California to become one. I hear people say, that's not how I define marriage. Well, to them I say, love knows no bounds. Why can't people marry dogs? I'm certainly not advocating intimacy with your pets. I, for one, think intimacy has no place in a marriage. Walked in on my parents once, and it was like seeing two walruses wrestling. So woof on Prop 15 Ohio. And that's how Sue sees it. Rod. Bafo, Sue, and we'll be right back after this. All I want is just one day a year where I'm not visually assaulted by uglies and fatties. Seriously, Ohio, these retinas need a day off. So here's the dream. Friday after Christmas, which I have off, if you're hideous, stay at home. Spend the entire day watching home videos of a time when you weren't too repulsive for me to ever want to look at. And that's how Sue sees it. Rod. Slamming, Sue. We'll be right back. Thanks, Rod. You know, Halloween is fast approaching. The day when parents encourage little boys to dress like little girls and little girls to dress like whores and go door to door browbeating hard working Americans into giving them free food. Well, you know what, Western Ohio? We've lost the true meaning of Halloween fear. Halloween is that magical day of the year when a child is told their grandmother's a demon who's been feeding them rat casserole with a crunchy garnish of their own scabs. Children must know fear. Without it, they won't know how to behave. They'll try Frenching grizzly bears or consider living in Florida. So moms, skip trick-or-treating this year. And instead, sit your little toddler down and explain that daddy's a hungry zombie. And before he went out to sharpen his pitchfork, he whispered to mommy that you look delicious. And that's how Sue sees it. Sue, you're the cat's pajamas. Oh, I went undercover to expose what your tax dollars are funding in our public schools in the name of the arts. Now, I'm all about personal freedom. I've publicly voiced my support for that lady who wants to marry her own source. But just because you're free to say whatever you want doesn't always mean you should. Artists are free to push boundaries to make art. But when pushing boundaries is their only aim, the result is usually bad art. There's a time and a place for everything, and squeamishness about what we want our children exposed to is not the same as bigotry. Freedom-loving adults are free to have an open, lively debate about what we want our society to be. But let's not make our children fight the culture war for us. They deserve a little better than that. And that's how Sue sees it. The big day has finally arrived for one Sue Sylvester. Becky, get in here! Get these invites down to the post office, stat. Got it, Coach. And to think that this joyous occasion began in horror. Which is why I just prefer to think of the homeless as outdoorsy. So shine on, urban campers. You smell like adventure. And that's how Sue sees it. Sue, you're the bee's knees.